Hi guys, Mr. New Mobile here. Apple iPhone 12 Pro latest update. Please subscribe followed by the bell. You can also keep up on Facebook, Twitter by clicking the links in the description. Apple is expected to unveil the iPhone 12 at its October 13 event tomorrow and ship the new phone sometime in October or even November. If you're thinking about upgrading from last year's iPhone 11 to the iPhone 12, you may be wondering. What exactly is the difference going to be? We won't know for sure until the new phones are revealed on Tuesday. But we've gathered the most probable rumors to see how the iPhone 12 will likely stack up against the iPhone 11. You can also determine if you should buy a new iPhone now or wait, and the best ways to sell or trade in your old iPhone. The biggest differences between the iPhone 11 and iPhone 12 will likely be the specs, of course. This is what we're expecting from the iPhone 12. It's possible that we'll see four iPhone 12s launched on Tuesday. The iPhone 12 mini, 5.4 inch, the iPhone 12 and 12 Pro, 6.1 inch, and the iPhone 12 Pro Max, 6.7 inch. For 6.1 inch, the iPhone 11 Pro, 5.8 inch, and the iPhone 11 Pro Max, 6.5 inch. There is speculation that the iPhone 12's display will have a 120Hz refresh rate and a ProMotion display, which you can currently find in the iPad Pro. Most phones, including the iPhone 11, refresh at 60 frames per second or 60Hz, but some, like the Galaxy S20 and the OnePlus 8 Pro, refresh at 120Hz. The higher the refresh rate, the faster and smoother a phone feels when scrolling through apps and websites. As is typically the case with new iPhones, you can expect the iPhone 12's cameras to be upgraded over the iPhone 11. The iPhone 11 has a photo night mode and an ultra-wide angle camera that can add extra detail in photos, along with a great video camera. There have been rumors that the iPhone 12 may add a time-of-flight camera, like the Galaxy Note 10 Plus has, to help capture depth information. This could do a number of things like help with Arkansas mapping, but could also mean you finally get the ability to have portrait mode in video. One of the iPhone 12's expected biggest new f Apple's event invitation starts with high speed, leading us to believe that the new phones will finally get 5G connectivity, as virtually all new Android phones arriving in the US already have. This means the phones could tap into the high-speed wireless network on the go, which might seem slightly less exciting during the pandemic, as we're spending more time at home, but will still future-proof your device for the rise of 5G iPhone 11's base model cost $699, which was $50 less than the 2018 iPhone XR. It's possible that this trend of lowering prices will continue. One tech analyst reports that the iPhone 12 base model, the Mini, will cost $649, the iPhone 12 Pro will cost $999, and the iPhone 12 Pro Max will cost $1,099. Here's everything we know about iPhone 12's price so far. Apple might reveal a smaller HomePod, which has apparently been in the works for some time. The device could have fewer speakers than the full-size $299 HomePod, according to Bloomberg, and admit the half the size of the currently available home called the HomePod Mini, have an onboard S5 processor, which first debuted in the Apple Watch Series 5, cost $99, but available for pre-order on November 6th or 7th, and officially go on sale on November 16th or 17th. If you were hoping for a refresh to the full-size HomePod, though, that apparently isn't in the cards for this year. Apple has also reportedly been working on new high-end over-ear headphones for some time, so there's always the chance they could be revealed on Tuesday. One key aspect of the product could be swappable parts, including ear pads and headbands that attach magnetically to the frame of the headphones. The headphones may also have noise cancellation, onboard Siri controls, and built-in touch controls. They could also be able to tell if they're placed on your head or on your neck, that might mean they can automatically start and stop music, depending on whether they're on your ears, similar to how AirPods start or stop music, depending on if they're in your ears. And the headphones will apparently have Apple branding instead of being Beats branded. Apple made tile-like item tracker for some time references to them even appeared in iOS 13 beta on Tuesday. In theory, the trackers, which will apparently be small, circular discs, will allow you to track things like your backpack or wallet, using Apple's Find My App. The AirTags might also have Apple's U1 Ultra Wideband chip built in, which could mean that you'll be able to track them more precisely than if they used other wireless technologies. Apple first introduced the U1 chip with the iPhone 11 lineup, but it doesn't do much right now, beyond letting you take advantage of a more accurate version of AirDrop. Apple officially unveiled a new iPad Air that looks like an iPad Pro during September's event, but it didn't give a more specific release date than October. Perhaps Apple will announce when you can actually buy the new tablet at Tuesday's event. The new tablet has a 10.9-inch screen, up from the previous generation's 10.5 inches. 
But there's no home button on this new iPad Air, the Touch ID fingerprint sensor has been moved to the power button. The tablet is powered by Apple's new A14 Bionic processor, which is a 5nm chip with a 6-core CPU. That is guys, we are looking forward to tomorrow Apple iPhone 12 event. Please subscribe, like the video, comment thanks for watching see you on my next video one peace out. Video one peace out.